Hi guys, Natalie here with Usborn Books and More, and I am so excited to get to party with you this week. So I just wanted to share some of our favorites that we're reading right now at our house. Um, it changes on a weekly basis. <laughs> so this is what we're reading right now. Um, and my kids are all younger, so these books are geared towards the younger kids. But if you have older kids, we have stuff for you too. There is something for every age level and um, reading level. And so ask me if you don't see something that fits you and your family's needs. All right, this one is from our Metal and Match series. It's called Imagine, and the Metal and Match is fun. We have four different books in the series, and they're fun because you get to, um, well, you get to muddle them, which is my favorite part. Um, but when you match them up, they just have great alliteration going on. This one's the P alliteration, and which is kind of fun. It's, you know, Dr. Susie kind of feel. And, um, but getting to, you know, make the different, make a different person, change their outfits, um, change the story. It's just very interactive. It's a lot of fun. Um, the alliteration is great for those kids learning to read. And so this is great for preschool, early elementary. Um, I have fun with it. <laughs> it's a great one. Um, this one is for um, a little bit older reader. My eight-year-old son, who's going to be in third grade after this summer, loves this book. This is one of his favorites. He loves science and learning about the body or about how things work. And so this one's a super fun one from him for him. This one has over 50 flaps inside of it. And, um, you know, it has pictures of the body. And then you lift the flap and you can see what's inside of it. Show your skeleton or your muscles and what different parts of your body do. It has these gorgeous full-page spreads, um, full-page layouts. Just really a gorgeous book with so much information um, that really has been a springboard for us to talk about other things and, and learn even more about the body. So this has been fun. It's been fun for me. It's been fun for my son. Um, and we have a ton of body books on <laughs> for so many different age levels that if that's something your kid is into, let me know. We can definitely find something for them. All right. This one is one that my three-year-old loves right now. And when I first um, just saw the cover of it, I was like, that's not a story. Like it's, it is more of an activity book, but it's great for this age, um, for the preschool age kids who are learning different things. So it has different scenes in the, in the book. And then it asks questions like who lives in the house with the yellow door and find a car with two passengers. And can you see a clock? Can you spot all the houses with blue doors? Which shop sells fish? So you're asking them questions and they, it's, I'm like, where's Waldo <laughs> in that sense? But it's also getting them to learn their colors or which one's the tallest or which one's the shortest or who's sad, who's happy. All these different concepts that they're having to think about and to point out to you. Um, and then they ask, you know, my son likes to ask me questions and have me find stuff. So this one is a super fun book to do with your child um, or to have your older children do with your younger children. So that one's a super fun one. All right, this one is one that all of my kids love. It's 100 Paper Dragons to Fold and Fly. And we have so many paper airplane books. Um, this is just one of them. But inside the paper airplane books, you're going to find um, different, um, all these different papers with different designs on them. And at the beginning of the books is are all the directions for how to make paper airplanes. And so my eight-year-old son can do these on his own. My younger kids need a little bit more help, but mom or dad love to help them with this. And we have paper airplanes hidden in all the little nooks and corners of our house because we love <laughs> this book and they make them all the time and fly them into, you know, behind the bookshelf. Um, and then this one is, I saved it for last because it's my very favorite book right now. My son asked me to read it every single day. Um, but seriously, I wish I had a stack of like a hundred of these and could just give them out to everybody I know because this one appeals to preschool, to elementary age, junior high, high school, college, moms, dads, grandparents. We all know we all have a what if monster and, um, Learning how to deal with that, I think, is one of the greatest tests in life. <laughs> it can be for some of us. Um, but it's about this little boy named Jonathan James. And he has this what-if monster who likes to, um, you know, ask all these questions. Like, what if you fall from the tree? What if you get hurt? What if they laugh at you? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, all day long, right? And at the end, he says to the what-if monster, now wait just a second. What if you're wrong? What if? I climb the tree and I don't fall. What if I 
playing the baseball game and I have so much fun. What if I try that food and I love it? What if, what if I go talk to that girl and I meet my very best friend? So this book, I cry every single time I read it. It's um, super special and um, that should definitely be on everybody's must have list. So these are just some of the books that we're enjoying right now. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to show you more books at the party and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.